Hi guys, welcome back uh, for another tutorial on our Candyland train ride for Santorini Stones by Shelly. Uh, what I did was I had a Santorini stone that I had already painted, but I did not like the way that it came out. Tried to sand the paint off, did not come off, so I'm just going to go ahead and base paint it with some white gesso. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say why, because I usually do not do this. I usually paint directly on Santorini stones because they soak up the color so beautifully, but I did not um, want to use the back of this rock. I just decided to go ahead and do this. For those of you that do base paint, um, I can kind of get a similar texture that you guys are getting. So I'm going to just drop in some baby pink and some baby blue, also some white, and I'm gonna grab a dry fluffy brush and kind of just tap it in from the top. Um, what I'm gonna do is um, try to blend it, but uh, you know, slowly, by slowly tapping off the excess paint on the rag that I have underneath me and I'm going to keep adding in some white so that it lightens up that color and kind of gives it like a soft texture kind of like a cotton candy cloud type of feeling is what I was going for and I'm just going to keep adding in white until I'm happy with the color um, it does look like a little bit of a muddy uh, purple but you can see the undertones of the blue and the pink so that's what I really wanted to go for and I'm going to grab half of a a circle down here I used the lid to a Mod Podge container I'm gonna draw my point center down here and I'm gonna create curved lines um, this is gonna be the beginning of our mint sketch I'm going to draw a heart up here uh, I do want the heart to be a little bit smaller than the mint because it's further away and I'm going to do a road this is where your game board um, little squares are going to go I'm going to start sketching in a gumdrop and also sketching in the dripping of sugar from the top of the gumdrop. Not the gumdrop buttons. And here I'm going to start sketching in a circular lollipop. Um, you can put as many lollipops as you want. I only did two because I wanted them to be kind of big. Uh, make sure also that when you're doing this tutorial that you don't grab the smallest possible rock that you can find. Make sure that you grab one that's big enough to fit all of your design into it. Because that's a big issue that we have with the train is people are like, Oh, I, it didn't fit. My rock is too small. If you know that you're doing a rock for the train, be prepared and grab a, a rock that's going to fit all of your design onto it. I sketched in the swirls for the lollipops and I'm also going to sketch in some basic candy cane shapes here sticking out of the gumdrops. Over here to the right I'm going to start with a rectangle and bring that down. It looks kind of like a little pot that you plant uh, stuff in and for the life of me I couldn't remember what the top of an ice cream swirl looks like because I was doing this design 100% for my head. Um, I didn't have any type of visual guide, so I ended up fixing that top portion to the ice cream later on in the video. This is going to be an upside down ice cream cone, um, and it's kind of like spilt out here um, with diagonal crisscrosses for the waffle cone sketch as well. And for some reason, I didn't record the part where I draw in the mud, the chocolate mud with the cherry sticking out, but it's just also squiggly lines with half circles for the cherries. I'm going to start by filling in the mint down here, the red and white candy cane mint. And I did end up doing two coats of the white because the first one was, it's still a little bit see-through since I do have color underneath it already. And also filling in the red. I do have this brush. Um, you can use a smaller detail brush if you like. This is just a brush that I trust, a brush that I know how to use. Um, it's a flat oval uh, flathead brush and um, I like it because I can manipulate it to curve or to flatten out as much as I want. I'm adding in some black here um, and I'm going to add some white in and using the tap effect and wipe off the excess paint effect that I talk about a lot in my videos um, and I'm just going to blend this down into a nice gray shaded area so that it's not just a flat white mint. You're adding some dimension to it um, and separate really separating it from the red kind of giving it like a 3d pop effect uh, more of a realism effect I guess um, I'm not going to talk too much about the blending effect because I have done so many videos already on how to blend if you have not seen my previous tutorials please go ahead and check them out um, my most recent one is the rose that talks a lot about blending 
I'm tapping in some watered down white to give it kind of like a shine effect on the red. And I'm going to start by filling in with some orange here. This is going to be my gumdrop. Uh, you can use a different color for your gumdrop if you'd like. Um, just don't change the actual, like, uh, I guess, design of it. Um, and then I'm going to also add some neons in here to kind of make them a little bit brighter. So this is Wanda's Neon Gouaches. They um, are in her Etsy shop. And I just love the effect that it has on the paint. It always brightens everything up. I'm going to fill in the top here. I still had a little bit of yellow on my brush. So make sure that you guys rinse your brushes off correctly. Um, I'm going to fill this in with white. This is like a little snow cap, um, which we will end up filling with glitter later on. Using the watered down blending effects that I've talked about numerous times to shadow underneath this um, icing dripping down off of the gumdrop. And then I'm going to start to base paint my candy canes. Um, I'm bringing that candy cane down a little bit because I it was a little bit weird looking. And this one, you can just kind of leave that one off. I don't know what I was thinking there. I'm going to fill in the lollipop stick with some white. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some of that baby pink that we used in that background. And I'm going to fill in my lollipop here. I really love the, the look of like mint and pink colors together so that's the colors that i'm going to be going for in my lollipops if you want to make it like red and white that's cool too totally up to you i'm going to grab some of this um cerulean blue and some of this like teal looking green with some white to create a mint looking color i'm going to grab cerulean blue first so it's a darker shade of blue and i'm going to outline that swirl um for the lollipop and you are going to want a detail brush for this um, because it is line work. If you want to use a pen, actually, like um, a paint marker, an acrylic paint marker, please be my guest because that is another different medium that you can use in this mixed media project. And then I'm going to grab uh, some more white and redo this um, these layers. And let's go on top, directly on top of the line, the blue line with that mint color that we just created. Um, it is a little bit, I did go a little cross-eyed sometimes, like trying to um, figure out where my swirl was going. So just take your time. There's no rush to do this. I'm watering down some of that original dark blue, cerulean blue, and I'm going to kind of put that watered down blue underneath that harsh line to give it a little bit of a blending effect a little bit of a realism effect and just gonna add some white stripes a little bit here a little bit there and that's just for like a little shiny lollipop glaze effect um i'm gonna go over that stick again and do the same shading effect down here underneath the lollipop so that it's not just some white stick i'm going to go ahead and fill in my candy canes with the red stripes again if you have paint markers this is the perfect time to go ahead and use them if you don't feel comfortable with a detailed brush um, you can use your paint markers for this part and then um, you can also use a outline pen but i like to outline with my brush it's just the kind of person that i am um, i was just showing that for effect and then I'm going to grab my Burnt Sienna, and this is like a caramel skin tone. It's actually called Light Mocha. Mix the two together to create that um, like cone-looking color. You can also mix yellow, brown, and white if you don't have those specific colors. And I'm going to grab some of that Light Mocha. It's like a skin tone and mix it in with some white so that it gives it a um, like a light peachy not not so much peachy i guess like a lighter skin tone color and i'm going to grab my fine liner brush and just outline the um crisscross that i made on the cone and you do want to use a fine liner brush i already said that um if you want to use your paint markers you can do that too i am watering down just some regular brown nothing mixed in to create a color just adding water in and kind of splotching it into the crevices there underneath the cone so that it gives it a little bit of dimension. It's not just a flat white crisscross. And sorry, my son unplugged the light. And I'm going to fill in the bottom, kind of like a little checkmark shape. 
So you're just wanting to do one corner of it, not the entire thing, because you don't want to lose your sense of cone. And I'm going to also add in some watered down brown up here at the top and at the bottom so that it differentiates itself from the ice cream that I'm about to fill in. You can use whatever color ice cream you want. Um, I'm going to drip this down a little bit onto the cone. And I'm going to just kind of base paint this. This is going to be vanilla with like a little bit of strawberry sugar glaze on top. Um, if you want to do like a chocolate ice cream or, you know, just do whatever colors you want. This is going to be, um, one is neon pink mixed in with some of that regular pink. And I'm going to use the um, dry brush effect to kind of tap that down into the white. I'm adding white, adding a little bit of pink, tapping it into each other to blend it nicely. And yeah, I don't know what was going on with this ice cream cone, <laughs> but um, I end up fixing it when I paint in the mud up there, the chocolate mud. I don't know. I don't know why I couldn't picture what the top of an ice cream swirl looked like, <laughs> but it looks like a little, like a little Santa hat. Um, we're gonna bring this pink down and use the um, paintbrush to kind of blend it in. And I don't know, pink is just my favorite color, so that's the reason I did pink ice cream. And yeah, I, I added some little splatters down here so that it's kind of, um, you know dripping down we're gonna add in some neon sprinkles just little lines uh, anywhere that you please maybe some little dots this is uh, I believe the yellow one and oh it's, it was orange Diana's blind and some pink sprinkles of course and then we're gonna fill in this top muddy portion this is gonna be a chocolate um, little lake little pond I don't know I don't know what it is see this is where I was like eh, yeah that doesn't look right I'm gonna just kind of leave it up at the top like that um, just regular brown will do add little drippings here little drippings there I'm gonna go in with some of that lighter mocha color and just kind of like put a little bit of lines in there a little bit of burnt sienna just so that it's not just a flat brown you can add different shades of brown into it um, so that it gives you a different chocolatey feel this is going to be red mixed in with Wanda's Neon Red. I used it because I, I wanted to do a really bright red heart. And I'm going to add some of the neon into this red uh, little swirl as well. Just because I wanted to brighten it up. And uh, let's fill in these cherries. These cherries are going to need a second coat. Which I end up doing a little bit later in the video. And don't forget the stems because I ended up forgetting the stems and I had to go back. I'm going to draw my lines out here for the board game piece, like the little board game road. This is just uh, neon blue mixed with a little bit of white. And this is just straight neon purple. Um, your road colors don't have to match my order exactly, but I do want you to use bright colors um, for the board game road because it's a board game and it's Candyland. And Candyland is co colorful and bright and cheery and exciting. Um, so just make sure that you're using bright colors, not just leaving it one, one boring, like, color. Anyway, going back to these cherries, I added in the stem with some white and red. I'm going to add some little shiny drops up here with just some white. And I'm going to outline this heart with some white. We are going to cover this with gemstones. This is the finished portion of your painting. We're going to start in with our mixed media, which one of them for me is going to be watercolor. I'm going to grab my foils because I'm going to foil this. I am not going to explain how to foil because that is not my um, specialty. I'm not a pro at foiling, so I cannot answer any questions about it. All I'm going to say is I would refer you to Wanda's uh, YouTube because she has a ton, a ton of foiling um tutorials but um i'm just adding in my mixed media here i'm adding it in piece by piece because i don't want to just um throw it on top i want there to be like divided sections in my foil when i'm putting it on there and i kind of i think i ended up fast forwarding through this because i didn't want to just sit there um you know holding the flashlight over and over and over again but as you can see here i started to piece it in i ended up foiling also the lollipops with the same um, foil that I got from Wanda's shop. 
I'm going to foil this road with some, some of my favorite heart foils. I'm going to add some glitter watercolor here to the top. If you don't have glitter watercolor, you can use regular acrylic glitter. I'm going to add rhinestones around the heart. And I'm going to add some chocolate watercolor also as well to that um, chocolate mud. And some cute little stickers that uh, Katie sent me as extras. I'm going to dot a whole bunch of snowflake little dots. And here is my finished rock. So mixed media, I added foils, watercolor, stickers. That's three. Oh, and rhinestones. That's four. Um, you guys can add as much like glitter sparkly to it as you want i ended up going back and adding more glitter to the background um yeah i hope you guys followed along enjoyed the tutorial tag me if you try it out mm -hmm.